Hello there and welcome to this very special video for Reckless Maths. I'm going to be working through one of the um, exercises from one of the stages of the algebra practice on this website. This is um, stage five I've got in front of me here. The three uh, pretty straightforward and clear questions to see. Obviously stage five is, is moderately complicated. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got a screen grab of the uh, website here. This is exactly what it looks like. There's spaces for you to click in and input each of your answers. And already we're getting clues as to what kind of questions we've got in front of us by how many answer boxes there are. But I'll do my work, um, as I recommend that you do as well, on uh, a separate piece of paper. Easier to, to display what's going on um, here. So the first question is 100 equals minus 2x squared. All right, so the, the, you'll notice that in the piece of paper uh, that I've printed out from the website, there are, there are two answer boxes. That means there are going to be two solutions. Why is that? Well, that's because to get x on its own, the first stage I'm going to do uh, to this is square root both sides. So the square root of 100, obviously that's 10, but actually there are two roots. One of them is positive and the other is negative. Um, and the square root of negative 2x squared is, is obviously negative 2x. So I've got two equations to solve here. Either 10 equals minus 2x or, or uh, minus 10 equals minus 2x. That has a bearing on what the answer is going to be. Dividing both sides by minus 2, uh, that cancels out and just leaves x. 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5 equals x. But obviously dividing both sides by negative 2 or over here is the, going to produce two negatives that cancel each other out. In other words, just leaving 5 equaling x. So my two answers for this first question, I'll write those in uh, just for us here, are minus 5 and 5. And you, when, you, when you click over these... Um, the answer one and answer two bit will, will disappear and allow you to type those in. The second part, seven equals minus eight, open bracket, minus four y, minus seven. Now there's, there's multiple ways we could consider doing this. We could either divide both sides by negative eight first or multiply out the bracket and, and, then, and then rearrange. I'm gonna do the multiplying out method but um, you can choose to do this in whichever way you like. Um, negative 8 times negative 4y. 8 times 4, that's 32y. And the two negatives, again, when, when two negatives are multiplied together, they become positive. Similarly, uh, negative 8 times negative 7 will also make positive. And 8 times 7, 56. So, having expanded out that bracket, 7 equals 32y plus uh, uh, 56. 7, take away 56, is what comes next. Taking away 56 from both sides leaves me with minus 49 equals 32y. Taking away 56 from both sides, just to make that as clear as possible for you there. That's what's been going on. Divide both sides by 32. And you know what? Actually... Leaving that as a fraction is a perfectly adequate and, and acceptable thing to do here because that's a pretty complex fraction, negative 49 over 32. But that is indeed the answer. And you can type that in again to the uh, website using the, uh, the, the slash key, actually. Um, that, was, that would be what I recommend that you do for that. And then the final question, negative 10 equals uh, 2 over 8 minus 4z, and the fraction has a minus sign in front of it. I can think of that minus sign as being attached to the numerator, actually. I'm going to, first of all, get the unknown on the denominator of this fraction to the other side by multiplying both sides by 8 minus 4z. So doing that, multiplying both sides by 8 minus 4z, and then over here as well, leaves me with negative 10 times 8 minus 4z, a, a single bracket. And then the denominator of this fraction is cancelled out by that multiplication, 
and uh, I'm left with minus 2 on the right-hand side only. And again, a uh, similar sort of situation to the previous question at this point. Uh, I'll do this again by, by multiplying it out, but you can also do this by dividing both sides by negative 10 and then continuing. Minus 80 plus 40z, very similar to the, to the previous question. 10 times 8, 80. One of them is negative, that'll be negative. 10 times 4, 40z, and because they're both negative, that becomes positive. If I add 80 to both sides, I end up with 40z equals... Ooh, 78. Divide both sides by 40, and that will be my final answer, 78 over 40. You can simplify that by uh, halving top and bottom. 39 over 20. So, having popped that into the my uh, answer sheet, 39 over 20. Uh, Submit them in and see what you get. You should be getting three out of three on that. Um, these questions pretty tricky, actually. So that stage five on the website is um, where things become a little bit more complex with our negatives, with these uh, fractions, the numbers not necessarily being um, straightforward to simplify into integers necessarily. I hope that you um, enjoy this uh, website. It's... Um, Pretty swish and very easy to use on mobile as well. Um, let us know if you need any additional help.